Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Wednesday, the 9th of November, which is the 8th of Cheshvan. Here we go. Uh, a Halacha that I sometimes see uh, men ignoring that I want to re-remind everybody about. I think we actually taught it about two years ago, but let's restate it because people slip up on this one. When you start putting on your tefillin, you make a bracha right before you wrap this shel yad part around your arm. And then some people do make a bracha on the shel rosh part before they put the tefillin on their head, and some don't. Whether you do or don't make a bracha on the head part, this halacha still holds true, which is that when you start putting on your shel yad with a bracha, or even without a bracha, but the point is once you begin that mitzvah, you are supposed to be doing no communicating whatsoever until you have completed putting on your shel rosh, the head part. God tells us, Ukshartem laos al yodecha, bind the tefillin on your arm, and then bind them onto your head. And no, and no uh, talk of any separation happens between them, and so they're supposed to be very strongly uh, connected. And therefore, you're not supposed to talk between when you start putting on your tefillin until when you finish putting on your tefillin. And so some people are like, okay, 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 I won't talk. But they don't realize that this halacha is as strict as no communicating whatsoever. So if somebody comes over to talk to you and you might want to just motion to him, like, hold on a minute, you know, I can't talk right now. Um, you're not even allowed to be motioning or hinting or winking or or saying no or any of those funny kinds of sounds. You can't do any communicating whatsoever from when you start putting on your tefillin until when you finish putting on your tefillin. By the way, as an aside, it's not a bad idea for you to never ever speak while your tefillin are on anyway, but not everyone can hold to that. It's a good thing if you could do it. It's wonderful to never talk when your tefillin are on, but here today is the bare minimum. The bare minimum is you should not communicate in any way, shape, or form between the start of the putting on of the tefillin and the end of the putting on of your tefillin. That's a strict one, and lots of people slip up on that one. Please don't be one of those people. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.